Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to have a look at a 2022 Jayco J Feather model number 27BHB. We got an outside kitchen, two doors into it, one door into the washroom from the outside, making that nice and easy aluminum frame, fiberglass skin, front fiberglass cap. This is a Jayco baby. I love these trailers. This will have you donating blood on a full moon. I'm here with my friend Brandon Hannemeyer on the camera today. Brandon? How's it going, happy campers? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. We got a Jayco and we always get excited about these. We got some really nice fit and finish on the inside, on the outside. They're doing some good work now. And again, <laughs> if you guys don't mind uh, hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're on TikTok, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. If you don't mind, follow us along there. Enjoy this video. You know what the problem was, Brendan? You started out too high. I know. You got nowhere to, to go from there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Front power jack, 30 pound repaint tanks. Then your battery in a box location is going to go right there. We are prepped for solar on the side. This is that front fiberglass cap I mentioned. It's nice and durable. It's not going to kind of just store as it goes on the road, that kind of thing. Great looking blue LED lights in there. I love how Jayco does that. And then check out the size of this pass through storage door. You can put large, large items in here for sure. We have a battery disconnect. We have an outside light. We got four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner of the trailer. They're manual. We have our freshwater fill here, and then a rack and pinion style slide, pulling our couch and our dinette off the floor. Just a really good looking exterior, wouldn't you say, Brendan? I agree. Yeah, just really, really classic. Black water flush kit here at the back. We've got this additional storage here underneath our bunk layout. We have some storage underneath the bunks as well from the inside. That's outside storage, that's cool. Six gallon gas electric water heater, 30 amp detachable style cord, city water connection, outside shower, and then a full size spare. We're gonna put a beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover on there for you. A roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. The roof's good for 4,400 pounds on these Jayco's. Facts. Facts. With an X or a CT? CT, yes. There we go. All right. <laughs> Secondary entrance into the bathroom and through here from the outside. That's a big benefit because otherwise you can't get to it from the side of the road. Our electric awning covers both doors. That doesn't happen very often. And we have our outside kitchen in through here. Now they've changed this kitchen a little bit. Last year it had like a, like a cooktop out here. Now we have a drawer here and a prep for a J-Port Blackstone griddle. This one has the Blackstone, but that's an option now. So just pay attention to that. Here's your drawers made out of galvanil, which is gonna last really long. We got a two cubic foot electric fridge and we got some lights in through here too with a bottle opener. Outside fridge vent range hood vent outside tv location with your furnace vent in through here now let's focus up on these tires they're goodyear endurance tires what size brennan 14s yeah 14s good looking aluminum rims i like the jayco cut into there that's fantastic and then here's our j port so basically there's a bracket in the pass through right now that fits into there your blackstone griddle fits out here and hooks up down below these are an option, but they've got the more ride step above steps. Also the glacier package, lend a hand grab handle, friction door hinge in through here, and just the other side of our pass through. If you're wondering what I'm talking about with this J-Port thing, it's this bar, this platform, with that griddle in through there. We have another light here, another receptacle, and just a great looking trailer. Brandon, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm excited to go inside. Let's do it. Right on folks, we're inside that J-Feather 27 BHB. We got a great deal on this one, so call us about it. We got our uh, tri-fold sofa right here. It's gonna pull out lengthwise. You can sleep two people on here. No carpet down below me. We got a bench dinette over here. We can also turn into a secondary sleeper. Windows all the way around me on all three sides. And we do have some storage here underneath our booth dinette. And this is the, the farmhouse interior, modern farmhouse we call this? Modern farmhouse. Modern farmhouse. TV's across from me, which is great for viewing. We've got a fantastic fan that's an option on this guy here in living space. We've got a TV that comes out on arm if you want to move that around. We have drawers in through here. We got cupboard space down below. And then a nice little shelf there above. Now if you think this is wasted space, no, because our outside kitchen is behind here. Storage here across the top. I like the smoke glass that we got going on here. There's a lot of storage on the TV, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah, let's pop this right out. Because that goes over top of the kitchen. Yeah. 
Whoa. Thanks for catching that, Brandon. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Now, our bathrooms here, we're going to get to it. We got our double over double bunks. Each bunk was good for 600 pounds. Built in ladder. And then check out all that storage there underneath the bunk. And if you want more height in here, yes, you can fold this up out of the way. Drive bikes in here, you know, just larger things in general. Here's our washroom. Like we talked about, we have a secondary entrance from the outside. Plastic toilet in through here. The dump truck, you know, it just fits, buddy. Storage down there. Plastic sink. Medicine cabinet right here above. And then up into the shower. Which side? Here, this side. Take a knock. I'm six feet tall. My head's got to go in the skylight. Remember, we are in an ultralight in through here, so we're not overly tall. But I can shower in through here with my head up in here. It's got a nice shower door that we just executed. Shower surround, nice shower head. Everything you need for a washer in there. Let's hit the front side of this trailer. We talked about the booth already. We got our six cubic foot gas electric fridge staying up. We got our Furian Micro, Furian Range Hood. Plates and cup action right through here. Kitchen window, nice fake backsplash in there, glass stove top cover, seamless counter, undermount plastic sink storage there. Look at that bottom pan drawer. And then three more smaller drawers right here. Full extension ball bearing drawer guides, plywood kind of finish on these, and then a countertop extension there. Coming around the side here of the kitchen, we've got a cupboard here too. And if you're wondering what this little red switch for, that's for the tank heaters that are an option. Now, I love this feature. I walk in the trailer. I've got a spot I can sit down and take my shoes off. I put the slippers on. Bingo, bango. Right, Brandon? Exactly. Uh, and then you can store them right there. You can hang up your coat. You can store some more stuff there. And then right here is your pantry location. You can move these out for some more coat cl closets, but I think that's better for pantry. And then great storage there. The width of these doors is great too. Mm -hmm. It's deep too. It's deep. All right, into the, so what we got for vents here? We got a fantastic fan. We got a regular four inch fan in the bathroom and then we have a regular uh, uh, 14 inch vent with a four inch fan in through here as well. Um, so that's great. We got storage here underneath the bed. Okay. The bedroom in this feels so big because of how large this like opening is. On which side? On this side. It just feels oh, so just this here. door yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. And it also helps. We have great space in between the door and the bed. Um, we've got hanging storage on my side with a, shelf. with a shelf that you can pull out if you want to hang stuff or just store stuff on the shelf. Nice cubby holes on either side. USBs and receptacles. You got the same thing same. on your side? Same. Awesome. Same. awesome. Um, and then we do have the solar panel on the roof of this guy, and there's your charge controller for that. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.